All right, you gotta see this. There's the butterfly on the lantana, and there's the hummingbird on the lantana, and on the vermilion air. Now the hummingbird, oh, see, hummingbird's using one of the little sticks that I put in the pot as a perch. Like, isn't it the coolest when they use something that you stuck in there for them? Yay! He's just sitting there. Look at that pretty little hummingbird. Boy, you gotta be really still if you want to um, zoom in this much. <laughs> but anyway, ah, I gotta back out a little bit so you can see more. Eee, sorry about all this. I can't back out. Okay, so you get a close-up. Apparently, the backing out is not gonna work. But, y'all really need to plant. I can't believe I said y'all. You all need to plant vermilion air and lantana because these guys are all over it. He's on the back side now. So uh, rather than make you dizzy, I also have a little one over here. Woohoo! Right by my chair so that I can get a close up view. And they come right up to you. Oh, there he's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. He's back. Okay, see how they go in there? I'm telling you, put it in your phone for next, uh, in early May, if you're in my zone, uh, gardening zone, because you need to go get some of this at the gardening center, like end of April, early May, because they are just they spend more time on these plants than they do on the actual hummingbird feeder. And it's just how much time they spend darting around and having so much fun. Anyway, my arm's getting tired. I hope you enjoyed this. That is, oh, let me see if I can Okay, now, for some reason, it wasn't working. Okay, so this is my patio. And you've got water and all the things. And then here's the one that's right by the chair. And the garden shed and the husband cutting the tree that fell down in the storm. But yeah, get some of that because it's wonderful.